hey y'all welcome to another day in my vlog um welcome to 2024 y'all have trouble saying that that's still you know i like the first couple of weeks of um when it's a new year it's just really really hard to remember the new year and not the old year like even if you sign anything everything you sign is still gonna say 2023 for the first couple of weeks um but yeah y'all so um yeah welcome to 2024 so right now um we're here at what is it called eat my biscuit eat my biscuit which is a brunch place looks really really packed in there but um i'm starving and honestly they're only open for another hour so we about to get to going um but yeah yeah i just wanted to check in with y'all and introduce y'all to the blog and say hello because it's a new year and welcome to 2024 and yeah just speak to my people y'all so i'll catch y'all when i get in there just left the restaurant so I wanted to pick y'all back up to just kind of get y'all well just to give y'all my consensus on the food 
but my consensus i had let's let's talk about what i had so i had the catfish and grits with a side of fried potatoes and i also had an appetizer which were fried uh what are they fried biscuits yeah and i had a strawberry lemonade and a water my daughter she had the hot honey biscuit chicken biscuit um yeah and she shared the fried biscuits with me me personally i i think i would rate it probably like a four out of ten it was it's something about the grits um you know i know it's always been a big argument over um centuries of how grits should be made everybody doesn't eat grits but like me i i only reason why i think i eat grits is because when i was a little girl my um my god sister they're from down south they're from mississippi so her family would fix grits all the time and i fell in love with them most people up north or midwest really don't care for grits but if you live down south you you know the girls who know know yeah um I was a little disappointed I, I'm gonna be honest I, I think I was a little disappointed what disappointed me was for me in my opinion and I've been eating grits since I was a little girl I enjoy grits being savory with certain foods like if it's gonna be sweet it has to be with breakfast paired with breakfast food don't give me catfish and sweet grits that's where you went wrong because now you playing with my taste buds I'm expecting what on my paper what it looks like I'm expecting for it to taste what it looks like y'all the grits were I had catfish and I had already squeezed lemon on my catfish because I like squeezing it tastes better but y'all when I tasted the grits it was like a burst of sweetness it almost like they put some type of maple syrup or something I don't know what that taste was but whatever it is I don't do it again don't do it again i don't like it at all if i'm gonna have grits i prefer especially um with catfish they need to be savory yeah don't give me no sweet grits so absolutely not so yeah yeah i just wanted to say that y'all unfortunately my camera is going dead so if i do film anymore it might be off of my phone which means the quality will drop down um because i don't think i brought my charger so I don't know. We'll see y'all. Y'all, welcome back to another day in the vlog. Um, so, I haven't picked y'all back up since yesterday. And honestly, I was only going to make it a daily vlog. But for whatever reason, I guess I got occupied and didn't pick the camera back up. So, now I got to extend it for two days. But anywho... So I'm up early this morning. It's about 10.22. I've been up for probably like two hours. Just getting myself together and just, you know, really meditating and thinking. I'm about to uh, wash some dishes and actually make me some breakfast, make me some um, pancakes. But I was really thinking this morning, um, I wanted to, well today I was thinking about actually going to get like a journal or like an affirmation book. Just, you know, kind of get like some encouraging words or whatever because, I mean, you know, we all human and throughout the week, um, just everyday life is kind of hard and, you know, sometimes you need that pick me up, especially like for the first of the year, you know, you trying to figure out what you want to do different, you know, or whatever. So last year what I did, and I wish I would have done, thought of this, but I mean, I typically make vision boards um, so that way I can see it every single day. Um, and then I just wrote myself something in my phone and just, you know, basically what I wanted in my life to be like. And when I think about it, um, a few of those things did come true. Not everything yet, because I still believe that they will. I still believe that they'll manifest. If I work hard enough, I feel like they will manifest. Those things did come true. The fact of me, you know, having more money, you know, being able to travel, me, um, 
you know, living in a different place, um, that definitely manifested. And I'm very proud of myself uh, for that because that's something that I've been wanting to accomplish for a very long time. But I think I just didn't have the courage. And honestly, for me, it's always about the unknown. What, you know, how's this gonna play out? How's this gonna affect my finances? Am I gonna be able to maintain it? You know, things of that nature. So today would be a good way of doing the same thing, but just kind of more so like physically writing it down and me seeing it and you know me getting in more into my journaling because i do love to express myself on paper for whatever reason ever since i was a little child i was always able to like write things and make it clear uh more clear than me verbalizing it so that's what i want to do y'all today um I want to give me a good breakfast today and I want to um, go out and find me like a journal or, and maybe like some affirmation cards or something like that. You know, something just to get me in the spirit. Y'all, y'all are t on a charger because y'all are D-E-A-D. -E I left y'all in a car last night. This is why I say I got occupied. But I left y'all in a car last night on accident because I knew y'all were in my back seat. But for whatever reason... I didn't pick y'all up and I don't know why I didn't pick y'all up. I wish I would have. But yeah. And then I think the last clip that y'all saw yesterday was of me going to uh, Bath and Body Works. Y'all, since y'all on Charger, I can't take y'all too far. So hold on, y'all. I'm going to show y'all. All right, y'all. So I got this um, candle yesterday from Bath and Body Works. It's the Brochet French Toast. Yeah, the brochet French toast is what I ended up getting yesterday. And the top looks like this. Um, so for me, like during the cold months, there's two different type of scents I like. I either like the very clean scent or I like the mostly like around Christmas time and stuff like that. I like the um, more toasty um you know baking a pie type scent that's just me personally i don't really care for like sweet scents or spring scents stuff like that or either like mint i will do mint but um that's just not my go-to you know what i'm saying um but anyway so i like those type of scents um, to kind of, you know, smell my house up or whatever. I really like waking up to it smelling like French toast or like a pecan pie or a snickerdoodle or something like that. I love that. Or some days I get in my mood, like I said, I want, like, it's more so like my bedroom and bathroom. I want that clean linen scent. You know, I like stuff like that. But yeah, y'all, so um, these candles that I got, they actually have these online or you can like um, order them to pick them up in a store too. But they have all of their like, I guess, I don't wanna say all of them, but like some of their little holiday scents, they have them on sale. Um, Y'all got something, I don't know what that is on my camera. But anyway, they have some of like the Christmassy scents on sale. Um, when I first walked in there, I was like, oh, they got their all their three wick candles on sale for $11.95 oh my god everybody better hurry up and get in there but honestly they only once I um what happened was I grabbed a couple of candles went up to the counter and they rung up like regular price and I was like oh no I didn't come here to pay regular price today absolutely not I don't necessarily need them but I just want them and so I told the lady yeah I don't want those so she was like oh well if you're looking for the um, candles that are on sale they're like right in the front um, you know with the 75% off and I was like well there's a multiple you know signs around here that have like sale signs so which one and she was like oh the ones directly up front and I'm like okay so I go up there to see which ones they had one of them is one of the ones that I had got for Christmas and actually that candle was the reason why I was actually in the store it was like the little snickerdoodle Christmas candle because when you light it up, it smells so good. It smells like a cookie. It just, ugh. It just smells really, really good, especially in the kitchen. So, 
that's what I came there for but then when I tried the candle and start smelling it I really could not smell it and I don't know if it was just because I don't think it was because I was smelling other candles because I feel like I, I could smell that candle and I could smell other candles but for whatever reason that snickerdoodle candle was not just it, the scent just wasn't it wasn't strong enough like it wasn't potent enough so I couldn't like smell it and so I was like uh, well that's the candle I came in here for but I'm not gonna get it so I decided you know to get this one because this one I can smell like I said it smells just like French toast it smells really really good so um I ended up getting that candle and then my daughter ended up getting some lotions and stuff like that honestly I really wasn't I mean there was no need for me to really technically go to Bath and Body Works because I had just went in there like maybe two weeks prior um I had bought some, some candles for for the bathroom my bedroom and for um the kitchen so and my daughter had bought some candles so Really, I didn't need to go in there. I was just going in there because I wanted to replace the other candle because the wicks was getting low. So, yeah. But, yeah, y'all. So, um, I'm about to wash these dishes because I've been neglecting them. And I need to wash them. And I hate looking at anything in the sink. So, I'm going to go ahead and wash the dishes. And then, I'm going to go ahead and get started on breakfast. So, that way I can have something in my stomach. And then I guess we'll see where I guess the day will lead us. Um, like I said, hopefully my only plan today is really just to go get like an affirmation book. And I really could have got that yesterday since I was out because y'all, I don't be want to leave, especially on the weekend. Like I do not be want to leave my house. Like the biggest reason for me not well, one of the biggest reasons for me not wanting to leave my house because I do so much during the week, ripping and running, I be tired on the weekend and I just wanna lay here and just relax like a normal person would. The rent that I pay, I want to, you know, enjoy the rent that I pay. Another reason why I don't be wanna leave is because y'all, the parking situation in my apartments, it is so aggravating, like, <sighs> it's so aggravating like I love my apartments they are aesthetically cute as hell like if you pull in my apartments you will be like oh my god these are so pretty the inside is gorgeous or whatever um, people seem pretty f either friendly or they just mind their own business um, like I showed y'all I have this beautiful trail outside my door um, I mean, it's nice, but when I tell you the parking situation, it's just a little annoying. And maybe I'm annoyed because um, I haven't lived in apartments in a very long time. Like, y'all, mind you, I haven't lived in apartments in, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me see. Okay. Uh, okay, so I haven't lived in apartments in 15 years. The last two places that I lived were in a house. The house that I bought, I was there for six going on seven years. If we would have stayed, then it would have been seven years this year. And then the house prior to that, I was there for nine years. So I'm not like a person that really moves a lot and i'm not a person that like living in apartments reason being is because number one i don't like nobody living above me or below me because you know i like my own peace and quiet and if i stump the only person to hear it is people in that house you know what i'm saying and i don't be want to hear nobody else's you know confrontations or anything like that i just i that's not for me it's not for me um so yeah it's just something that i have to get adjusted to in the house that i lived in you know i had my own garage obviously so i could just pull back in my garage nobody seen what type of groceries i was bringing in or whatever i was lugging in to the apartment you know what i'm saying you see my car coming and you see my car leaving 
so it was that you know what i'm saying and yeah it's just something to get used to so i never really had to fight for a damn parking spot and it's just like if i don't get to my apartments by i would say seven o'clock especially during the weekday it's a wrap it's it's a wrap i literally have to park around the corner and the whole night i'm sitting there thinking like lord which i don't have i really feel like i don't have nothing to worry about with these apartments because y'all they they highly gated they secure securely gated like it's hard to get in these bitches it is really hard to get in these bitches but you just never know you know what i'm saying what if it was somebody in the apartment that's a thief or whatever you know i don't put anything past anybody um you know that could try to you know steal your car so i just for me i don't like my car being parked far from my window so um that just always makes me a little nervous y'all makes me a little nervous yeah and y'all uh i still haven't took these dang on nails off it's so funny because these nails i don't want to take them off because i don't want to you know my fingers i don't want my fingers i guess to hurt or whatever but they the ones that are off they've popped off they self y'all for whatever reason like here i just feel like all the service industries and stuff like that like when i say service industries i mean like getting your nails done toes done getting waxes getting eyebrows done everything looks so glitz and glam you know when you get there you know they got the works even the food places <laughs> even the food places the restaurants look so glitz and glam the furniture be so nice and pretty and it just be all lit up but y'all a lot of times these places when you go in there you are not satisfied you it's just like it's just like nothing lasts like i've got my nails done since i've been here probably like five six times and every time i get my nails done they pop off two weeks later and the reason why i don't get them done consistently is because they pop off two weeks later nobody wants to spend 65 dollars on just one set of hands my nails not along my daughter's nails not along our feet you know 65 dollars on nails and it's crazy because when you go in these places, if you only want to get one thing done, they basically pressuring you to get two things. Like it's, for instance, if I say I'm coming in here to get a pedicure, oh, why you not getting no manicure? Why you not getting no full set? Oh no, you need a full set. Yeah, get everything, get it, get, get everything. No, get full set, that's not right. No, 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 you should get full set. She should get full, you know, they try to pressure you and it's just like, that's not what I came in here for. That's not what I wanted to pay for. And honestly, it's just like, like I said, what's the point of even getting all that done if you're wasting your money? Like $65 for a full set for just yourself, that's too much money for your nails to be coming off two weeks later. I don't know if it's the product that they use and they do it intentionally, knowing that people gonna have to come back, but I'm not with that. Sh I'm not and where i'm from usually the nails be lasting for almost a month on your hands you know and i can go back and get a full set these nails y'all what i'm trying to say is even if your nails don't last for a month let's say they last for three weeks these nails come off completely y'all they come off completely not enough time to even go get a fill in so why in the hell am I about to pay y'all for my nails completely coming off and I can't even get a fill in? Oh, no, no. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. I ain't got it like that. I ain't got it like that. So I don't know if I'd be really going to get my nails done like that. It's just I feel like here is not worth it. Maybe if I go out of town somewhere else, I try, you know, another nail tech and then I don't know people be suggesting like different nail techs like yesterday when i went when we went out to eat the guy uh the waitress he had his nails were so gorge but they were his real nails and he was telling me that the person who does his nails is this guy this black guy 
and he's real real good and everybody always say basically go to like the black people don't go to like the chinese people because y'all i can see now the chinese people or the asian people i want to say chinese let me correct that the asian people who do um you know nails and feet and stuff like that for some reason my experience here has been it doesn't last and i'm not used to that so y'all i'm just rambling on let me stop talking i'm about to go ahead and light up this candle and wash these dishes and i'm about to fix me something to eat because i'm hungry um yeah i'm hungry y'all so i'll see y'all in a little bit Thought we do it reckless Your nigga called us texting You said, baby, don't be mad You know how great it is Don't open your mouth I'm looking out my window and I see one of my neighbors um, walking her dog. Let me show you how it looks so beautiful. I don't know if y'all can see it because it's so far away. I don't think y'all can. But y'all see like a little little spot. Little light spot. That's my neighbor walking her dog. She got a beautiful dog. Yeah, y'all. 